Alright, welcome back my fellow Tarnished dudes and dudettes, heroes all, to another episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Earth Tree. This is Space Doggy, and we are here at the Fissure Waypoints. And uh, this is something we reached last episode after coming down the Fissure. Let me show you on the map exactly where we're at in case you're just tuning in. So we started off over here in the Fissure went through this opening that was originally sealed off earlier in the DLC and found Fissure Cross and we've made our way to the Fissure Waypoint and I feel like we could probably take off that sword icon there we've done a it's a pretty linear path for the most part um, but yeah so let's get after it let's keep going um, I don't really know what's down here other than the whole St. Trina dealio. Hey, actually, let me try let me try something. So I've been thinking about switching to like a holy damage to see if let me see. Alright, let's instead of thunderbolts. Hmm, waves of darkness, that's kinda of cool one. I wanna do something that might scale better with um let me see let me see do a lion's claw with it for real savage lion's claw see what a sacred one looks like 259 so 259 259 or 285 with a big ol' plus 364. I don't really understand that second stat, to be honest. But let's try... Let's see if that makes it more useful. Yeah, let's see. Because holy damage, I think, for these skeletons especially, is going to be useful. Oh my gosh. Come on. Look at that damage. Wow. He's still coming back to life, but... Alright. Respectable. I don't think I can hit him without falling off. There we go. Oh, come on. Bam. A bam. Alright, alright. You know what I just realized, guys? Ah, I'm so dumb. I need to level up. We got like 263 runes, man. Alright. <laughs> alright, that was a good practice round. Alright, let's get our faith up. 755. See, our armament is just way lower on the attack rating than I would like it to be. Oh well. Alright, let's get after it. Oh, Two-handing does help, for sure. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, shoot. There we go. Making quick work of this. Short work. Booyah. Alright, there we go. That is very helpful for getting a little health back. Yeah, I love that talisman. For exploration, it's great. For boss fights, not necessarily useful unless you're staggering that boss a lot. Yo. Fat coin purse. <laughs> That's a big boy. Alright. And, uh, Oh, 
Come on. You know, let's just grab this item. Whatever it is. I just feel like there might be something we... It drops because it's such a weird one, you know? Let's see how this does. Not great. 97. Not really great either. Yeah. Way more effective just to whack him. Come on. Let's go. I'm gonna feel kinda bad if I end up doing this and there's nothing really rewarding us at the end. Okay, smithing stone 8 times 7? Yo. That message about the fat coin purse, for real, that's what made me do that. That was good. That was worth the time, for sure. Be wary of old codger. Hey. Hey, who this? Who this? Get him! Thanks, huh? Wow, do you see me jump over that attack? I saw this video that was talking about multi-layered ring of light. Ooh. With our faith stat being 45 now, I think we could actually... I bet we could do that one. Multi-layered. Multi-layered marketing system. Multi-platform pyramid scheme. Uh, it reminds me of this episode of Always Sunny, where they're trying to sell a timeshare and trying to start a pyramid scheme. Very funny show. Very funny. All right. Where to next? Does not seem that is a viable option. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be an item that's going to help us craft a bunch of sleep St. Trina kind of stuff. I betcha. It says, God, so speak to liar. We got another side of grace coming up. Dang, this place is interesting. Dude, look, all the animals. It's all the animals of the forest. They all sleeping or praying or worshiping or... Oh, it's kind of cute. I see some phantom hurting them. I'm not gonna hurt them. No, 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 no. We're cool, we're cool. <laughs> That's interesting. I bet we're about to find St. Trina. That's what it seems like, doesn't it? Let's go. Hmm. Boss ahead, therefore praise the message. Here we go, guys. Why is it always suffering? Yeah, let's drop a comment for sure. No boss ahead. <laughs> you know, it's a classic. All right, see what this ghost says. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest Saint Trina. To fly to your feet, you know what that means. It's time to jump, baby. Jump for it! I don't know if that's right. I think it's right. Oh, it's definitely right. Let's go. Yeah. Superhero landing. Uh-oh. <laughs> leave a note. Maybe we'll get help. Why is it always boss? 
Alright. Need all the help we can get. Help me! Wait. A horse? Oh, dang. Alright, alright. Just looking at me, I can tell. Oh my gosh, that horse keeps messing me up, man. Dang it, dude. Come on, heal up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Back up! Goodness. No, leave him alone! Alright, alright. Come on. We almost got him. That's a cool boss. That's cool. Alright. We can definitely win this. Let's put on... A damage reducing one. Let's see. Let's... Damn it. Boost non-physical damage negation by the utmost. Okay. Okay. We'll pop that on. Got the jellyfish shield. I don't really want to use that. You know, maybe it would come in handy. We'll keep it on our back. Maybe it'll come in handy when we're... You know, he's throwing that blue flame around. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I just jump. Dude, I didn't even check if we can jump on torrents. Like, that might be what we can do. Alright, let's try this again. Geronimo! You just land on the jellyfish. <laughs> Alright, what a cool entrance to a boss fight. Excellent. Okay, we cannot. Dang, that hurt him. Back up, let's back up. We know this game. Okay, you can just jump. You can just jump. Good. Come on, get him. of the putrescence guys our hp right now is so <laughs> yes that is how we do it boom in our order just like that and i like that 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 <laughs> all right wow that was epic all right 
Thank you. I don't think I even used that jellyfish shield. I just had it on for comforts. <laughs> I don't even think it helped me one bit. Uh, let me see. We're 175. You know what, dude? Why am I stopping at 175? I'm just going to make my guy as strong as possible. He's going to be my new plus or new game plus character. Why stop at 175? You know? I think that's where I stopped in my first playthrough. I got to 175 or near it. 775. All right. This hammer is doing us justice. Okay. All right. So now what? Didn't expect weak foe. Dang it. I'm all proud of myself. It was kind of weaker, didn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Didn't expect strong foe. This is going to be a little contrarian. All right, off we go. Let's do this. Ooh, a non-combat zone. Okay. Ooh. Try ranged battle, yeah right. Oh, I think this is gonna be Saint Trina. Disciples cookbook. Lulling branch. Talk. Mouth seems like it's moving. Imbibe nectar. What? What does that mean? What's going on? Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. It's going to take us to another realm or something. Watch. Stone coffin fissure. Wait a sec. Weird. There's something here. Nectar blood burgeon. Hold up. There's something I need to make. Slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring FP. Maybe if I... So I crafted that. If I use it. So tree branch blessed with velvety purple incantation. Pierce oneself, causing a gentle buildup of sleep. FP gradually recovers during this time. When the sleep reaches the threshold of causing temporary fogginess, no FP loss is incurred. In the midst of drowsiness, there is the will to awaken, feelings that rise from the depths of one's heart. What the heck does that mean, dude? I wonder if we, like, use it. So we're munching. And now if we imbibe, is it possible? I wonder if maybe we need to have the status effect fully on. Nope. Dude. I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> ah. There's definitely something going on. And it makes me think it's that craftable item. Unless there's like a way to wake her up. Wake the heck up, lady. Um Seek sleep and then seek sleep. Okay, one more try. We're gonna try to put the sleep effect on us try to actually let this bar fill up and when that happens we'll imbibe the nectar and if that doesn't work then we might just leave it be and come back 
I'm gonna put a little objective marker here. Come on, sleep. That's the only thing I can think of. Come on, sleepy sleep. A sleepy sleep. We almost there. Man. Come on, come on. We are almost there. <laughs> come on. I don't even know if this is going to work. And one more. Sleep. Okay. Let's talk. And vibe next. I don't think it's gonna work. Dude, I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird one. Alright. Like, I don't wanna look it up, and I'm not gonna right now. I'm gonna resist that urge to look it up this time. Yeah. Alright. Well, St. Trina, it's good meeting you. Maybe next time. We'll see ya. So I threw this marker down just so we have it. And, um... Yeah. I think we're good on this fissure. I think that's the end. Meeting St. Trina. So, um... One thing I wanted to do... I'm glad I was looking at the map just now. Because there's an area we haven't checked out that I would like to. So... From this dragon's pit, which is something we reached a little while ago, we went left and we never came back to look right. So you'll notice on the map here, I have this sword icon. That's why I do these markers, because it really does help. So we went, after defeating a dragon, we went this way and reached the foot of the jagged peak. We met Igon, and it ultimately led us to Bale the Dread. But we never went down this way. So that is where we're going now. We're gonna see what else is out here. Man, I wonder what we gotta do for St. Trina. Very, very confusing. Yeah, do y'all remember this area? Dude, we fought so many dragons, like, back to back doing this. We were getting pretty good at it, though. Gotta, gotta admit. Let's see like I know this isn't necessary probably but like I'm trying to get everything I can out of this DLC all right like it's awesome and I don't want to miss anything if I can help it all right let's leave him alone because Lord knows they're tough um yeah okay cool yeah I don't think we've been down this way Bunch of lightning goats. We got a skeletor up top though. Nice. I think we're this is like a lower level area for the DLC. The fact that we're one shotting. Yeah, that says something. Oh yeah. All right, red vulgar bloom. All right. We got some bad guys on the other side. Let's go check out this other side. So I did see some bad guys over there too. Oh yeah, here they are. I feel like we're supposed to... Man! Easy mode! I want to make sure I'm not missing anything good. Oh, 
I mean, what could I really be missing here? Some red vulgar bloom? That's probably it. But you never know. It does seem like that was a waste of time a little bit, but it's cool. Alright. So we're going here. We got some statues of some dragons. Very cool. Very cool architectures. Very cool. Oh, wow. You know what I just realized? When we got something, we, we got the drop from Bale the Dread. It said something about an ancient dragon communion altar, but it was different than the base game. And I feel like this might be what it was talking about. Oh, sick! Igon's cookbook! Vansom was helping us out big time. Let me just make sure there's nothing up here. It's required. <laughs> you see this? Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. This is new! Yo! Priestess Hearts, Flowerstone gra Gavel. Dang, and we're in a non-combat zone again. Dude, sweet. Let's see if anybody wants to talk to us. Nobody talks to us at Sites of Grace anymore, man. Examine Altar. Communion with Bale? Dude, let's try it out, man. Bale's Tyranny, Bale's Flame Lightning, channels Dread Dragon to strike with Flame Lightning infused Talon Bone. One of the greatest Dragon Communion incantations. Harness the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon in the right arm to smash foes with an exposed Talon Bone coursing with Flame Lightning. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day. Oh yeah, let's definitely do that. <laughs> Alright, one of the greatest dragon communion incantations. Harness the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heatwave burst causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed. Okay, same... Same comments. Yeah, I'm trying to like... I want to see myself eat it. Wait, additional items required. Oh! You only get one. Whoops. Alright. <laughs> Ritual Dragon, uh, okay, Ghost Flame Breath, that's cool. Transforms Caster into a Dragon to spew Ghost Flame Breath from above. Land of Spirit Graves is home to all manner of dead, and even the corpses of fallen dragons found their way there. Several of them were endowed with such vivacity that even in death they could not fully die. Oh yeah. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. So maybe it's a new game plus where we can have the second one. Dude. Sick. Totally worth it, man. Dude, this place is cool. It said Priestess Heart. Oh, you see that item? It said Priestess Heart. Like, I wonder if we missed out on it. Uh, NPC. So we took so long to come here. Dragon Communion Harpoon. This is a massive dragon we're riding on here. Gotta get those items. Wow. Just wow, bro. What's down there? Can we hop down there? I think that leads to that first finger ruins. 
Hmm. Okay. Just looking for any NPCs. I feel like there was, or there's supposed to be some kind of NPC around here, but I think we might have waited too long to visit the area, you know? Because unless an NPC is literally living in this giant corpse of a dragon, which I wouldn't put a pass from soft to make that happen. This is wackadoo, man. The priestess hearts. I want to see what that is that we picked up. Turns human frame into ancient dragon and boosts dragon cult incantations. Stone heart of a dragon communion priestess. Used while disrobed to turn one's human flesh into an ancient dragon. The change cannot be undone except by death. Using this heart will already transformed temporarily boost incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cults. The priestess was once an ancient dragon herself, but sacrificed that form for feeble flesh to aid in the destruction of Bale the Dread. What are we talking about here? Hold up, hold up. You're saying we can turn into a dragon? But we gotta like, we gotta be naked? That's all? Alright, let's go back to the communion altar, because that would be a cooler place to try this. What, dude? This is nuts. Oh, man. Alright, here we go. Oh, it won't let us? Maybe it's because we're in a non-combat zone? Here. Come out of it though. What? Dude. <laughs> that is sick. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Ancient Dragon Lightning Spear. Boom. Dude, that's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. All right, I want to stay in character here. I feel like this could summon somebody. Like, look at us. We look crazy. Look at us. This is nuts, dude. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. All right. I want to go see what's on the other side here, and I'm looking. We're a little over our half hour mark, so we will probably need to wrap it up soon. But I think who I've turned into, that is who I... Wait I think this is who, the, like the NPC I thought we were supposed to run into. I think I just saw an image of someone transformed like I am. So maybe there isn't an NPC, and it was simply this. Dude, I bet you we're about to find another wandering mausoleum or something. Charo's Hidden Grave? Dude, this DLC just keeps on going, man. Right. Come on. Let's go. Alright, I don't think they're guarding a mausoleum up here. But they did catch our attention. It's with my stamina though. It feels like my stamina regen just sucks right now. Dude, this is just another secret area, man. Wow. Alright. See, 
item. Oh, dude, another guy who lives in death. One of those mariners. Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm. There's the Cerulean Coast. Dude, nice. You know what? I think this is actually a good stopping point before we venture into Charo's Hidden Grave. Dude, look at us. We look crazy. I think this is actually a good stopping point. Um, so we are a light load. Light on the feet. Light on the feet. But, um, yeah. Awesome work, guys. We found a whole new secret area by accident. That's so sick. Um, as always, I post my streams over on my YouTube channel. It's got the same handle as my Twitch. It's SpaceDoggy777. And over there, you can find all my Let's Play videos from part one to this one. So go check it out. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to. But other than that, folks, thanks for watching. And I will see y'all next time on Let's Play Shadow of the Earth Tree. This is Space Doggy, signing off. Peace.